So I will mm-hmm. say that while I was playing at church on this past two weeks ago, mm. uh, I saw this group of boys who were like jawling there in um. the front with glasses on and I sunglasses on. And you know what? I just had to get involved. With the Oaks. Thank you so oh much. Oh my god. That's so oh. funny. Yeah. <laughs> this is fake Sarchi. Fake Sarchi. They look like they're real. They're, they're real. real. Yeah. They're totally real. But yeah, so That's you guys, so you guys are great. I loved it. It was such a vibe. And keep on being the best vibe ever. <laughs> 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 oh, That's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> Scream it. Rock, paper, scissors. Scissors. Yes, boy! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Vobs Podcast. Vobs, 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 Vobs. Today we are joined by one of the biggest drum and bass DJs in the country. <laughs> You'll be hard pressed to find a big name event without her lineup or her name on the lineup. Ooh. Yes, boy. Today in the studio, we're joined by somebody who's a veteran in the game spinning decks spinning the wickedest dub plates all the way from cape town to johannesburg this weekend you can find her spinning at smoking kills bar in marvel on the 22nd of april give it up pick up the jungle massive big up the original downtown jungle is there ladies and gentlemen we got dakota in the studio <laughs> That was a solid intro. <laughs> that, was, that was a solid intro. I practiced it like 20 times. Can I steal that room. and use it as my bio? Yeah, because keep recording. It's in this place. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you come on stage. Yeah, the original junglers. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's so beautiful. Debbie, how you doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot currently. It's a lot. But, yeah. uh, you know, vibes. Mm. Just generally just vibing. Glad yeah. to be here. Thank you oh. for inviting me for Thank the vibes. Thank you for Thank yeah. you so I'm much. Very, for very us. stoked to be here. Yeah, 100%. Here at Vibes, we obviously like to get to know our guests. One of our things that we love to do is just catch vibes with people on the daily. So for you, what we wanted to ask was, what's your earliest memory of drum and bass? And how does that translate into literally all the success that you've had up until this point? That's a really good question, firstly. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there's actually two main instances. Um, the first one, everybody knows, Powerpuff Girls. There's that little breakdown. No way. <laughs> That's drum and bass, I, mate. I literally, I, <laughs> literally, I heard it the other day and I was thinking to myself, I was like, someone should play this during this set. <laughs> That's a really good idea. I mean, there's that chick, a little sound, and her like whole branding and everything is based around the Powerpuff Girls. So I'm like, um, that's not by accident. Yeah, 100%. Also, shout out, she's a queen. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and then my second memory, there was a song, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's like, it goes like, I'm totally addicted to bass. Oh my God, tone, oh my God. I'm not a singer, I'm a DJ, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't have to talk at all during these sets. <laughs> anyway, it's got like this like mad, like jungly breakdown and fuck, it's just such a good song. And I remembered listening to that when I was like 10 years old when it came out, I'm giving away my age. Don't go look that up. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just remembered listening to the drums and I was like, oh, as a kid, I was like, meh. Damn! What is this? What is this? <laughs> What's that funky oh, rhythm? Yeah. So that was my earliest core core memories of drum and bass. Mm. Yeah. And then, what made you decide I actually want to start mixing? I actually want to start Yo. fucking. Again, I'm not going to give away my age. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it through. Um, I went to Rhodes, and mm. um, yeah, I was there for four years, and there was this this dingy little club called monastery that opened up (sighs) and it was literally like a converted old ass house like wooden floors people would like break through the floors because they were like bouncing so hard and it was a bass yeah it was it was rough but it was beautiful because that's like where bass music comes from it comes Mm. from those like underground clubs and yeah there was this club and 
they played everything. I mean, this is when Skrillex like first started oh, popping off. Me. So yeah. again, Dubs giving too. away <laughs> a lot of how long ago that was. <coughs> and um, there was this other genre that some of the DJs used to play, and I was just like, wow, this is like vibey because. No, dubstep, dubstep is cool, but it wasn't for me. And then I just mm. heard drum and bass and I was like, oh my gosh, this is this is my home. And yeah, I just went from there. I just got tracked on my little computer and then started teaching myself. And yeah, Jeez, that's basically like... a long time ago. So <laughs> mm, <laughs> now we're here. <laughs> no, it's so beautiful. I feel like there's a lot of people who are like, it's like you want to start DJing, but you almost like don't know where to start or like what yeah. to do or like, whether to stick with it or anything like that. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I get asked by a lot of people, like very recently I've been asked by a couple of people to give me, give them tips and tricks on what they need to do if they want to break into the scene. Um, and I have it on my phone. I will get it out to you guys. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think the main thing is just if you have a love and a passion for it, um, just stick with it. Just mm. do it. I mean, I've been now like DJing under Dakota for seven years. Um mm. You know, this shit doesn't happen overnight. You have to work at it. Yeah. yeah. But, How was yeah. the transition? Because I feel like drum and bass now in SA is at an all-time peak at this point. Like, <laughs> it's at its biggest. Yeah. How was the transition from, like, the when it's, like, kind of more of a niche into now more mainstream? Yeah. It's tough out here, hey? Uh. Yes. I, like, literally started when drum and bass was on its downward turn. Yeah. Um, because a very wise lady, Megan, love you, uh, wife and she's married to hyphen. That's oh. what we call her wife. Best name ever, right? <laughs> <laughs> she said to me that, like, she noticed, because she's been through it, like, Hyphen has been in the scene for years and years and years, mm -hmm. and they've seen it come and go, and they say it almost works like El Nino. It, like, happens every seven years. It goes through a cycle. Yeah. So, yeah, I started seven years ago. <laughs> You're like, come on. <laughs> strong, it's strong. Time. You do the math. <laughs> <laughs> So it's been, it's been like interesting to see it come up, to see it on TikTok videos, to mm. see these mm. kids like joining to drum and bass. It's like, I don't know. It's just, it, I feel really emotional about it because like, it's been tough. Like yeah, nobody listened to it a year ago and now all of a sudden it's coming up. I'm just, I'm so grateful. Like it's been rad. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. I feel like us, for us, like watching that come up is a beautiful thing because like in our friendship, we always, we'd listen to drum and bass. And this is what the crazy part about it all was, was that we'd listen to like very like mainstream, like rudimental type of like drum and bass. Like Still very valid. It's, oh. I think Thank that's you. literally all Libs has ever wanted in life because I it's always so I, oh, I always roast them what so much because about? if you like the drum and bass is rumored I'm like they do but it's like they don't it's like I wouldn't use that as my example all the that's time and he's always like crying <laughs> by the end of cry. let your friend fly <laughs> right you, let him fly let him fly let him fly let him fly someone clip this I'm so happy <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah. Thanks. But yeah, then our mates came back from the UK and they're like super big into drum and bass that oh, time. Jelly, were they in Brighton? Oh, I think. No, where does he stay? Don't do that. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It's still Doesn't it's matter. Anywhere. Just to be in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Madness. No, it's beautiful. And then they introduced us to like more heavy stuff, like jungle and like. But so I wanted to ask, what's like your favorite to like mix? Oh, definitely jungle. Mm. Like 100%. I'm, a, I'm definitely like a jungle girl. Um, recently, thanks to the church boys, I've started enjoying the more, um, what do you call it? Like, oh fuck. I call it big room drum and bass, but that's oh, not what it is. It, it, no, it <laughs> you know, like the it. synthes, the fun, <laughs> dance floor, dance floor. I mean, oh, okay. yeah, but definitely my heart and where everything I love is in jungle. Uh, share that with my bestie Tarantino. Like she oh, yeah. was the one who pretty much just like revitalized jungle for me. Like, yeah incredible it, that's that girl as well Whew. Mm. she's also all over the place like absolutely fucking smashing it at the moment love you babes <laughs> that's so <laughs> great man. oh gosh and the scene in drum and bass now and like sa how would you like describe it like just yeah it's, working it's it. getting it's like it's fresh there's new blood coming in um yeah i don't know how else to explain it it's it's starting to it's changing it's definitely changing mm. we're starting to see the youngsters come into the scene which is amazing because you know we need to invest in the youngsters because they're the ones who are going to bring their younger friends and their mm. younger friends yeah. and in order for a, a scene to sort of sustain itself you need to have this influx of people because 
inevitably people get older, they want to have kids, they want to have families, they're not coming to the door besides me. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to be that auntie. Oh, yeah, as well. <laughs> 45, let's go. But yeah, sorry, I don't know if I answered the question. I ramble yeah. a lot, guys. No, if you're fine, right. we love it, man. It's okay, fine. Cool. You've got unlimited time. Well, not unlimited. Uh, yeah, I overlong you. Close the unlimited. Feels <laughs> 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 <was> like Dave. <laughs> <laughs> the laptop got taken anymore. <laughs> um, for me, this main thing: how is it with the how do dif- how do international acts differentiate from SA acts? Mm. Like, would you are they comparable Your in that sense? It's actually a really good question. I'm going to say that at every question. Um, it's fine. It's the, it's the podcast norm. Yeah. Oh, you did your research. Um, shoot, eh? Uh, I guess. I don't even know how to answer that. I mean, so last year, um, myself and uh, mates, we went to Liquidity, mm. which is a huge festival. And we saw so many acts. Like, I literally stood in the front, front and center, watched DJ Marky play. He did the whole upside down, scratching mm. with the <laughs> vinyl thing, bawled my eyes out the whole time. <laughs> Turn to these people who are next to me and they're like, are you okay? And I'm like, you guys are so lucky you get to experience this every fucking weekend. That's the most annoying part. It is. is. That they don't, they don't, they I don't, don't think they value it. it. It's yeah. insane. But I will say like in the scene in drum and bass in South Africa, we have world-class acts. Like mm. absolutely. Mm. From a production, from the production side, we've got people who are on the map. I mean, look at Stacey. Um, mm. she's, she's literally like signed to hospital records. That yeah. is one of the biggest re- drum and bass record labels in, in the world. And then you've got world-class DJs like, um, Donny Basco, for instance, that yeah. man has just completely transcended. So while I do enjoy, I, I love internationals. I love working with them. I love meeting them. I love seeing them play. I still will go and have the best time at a Rain Man and Repulse set because mm. again those are was that my boys <laughs> <laughs> they are world world class mm. um, professionals and just incredible acts to see I mean you guys were there last week you watched them they yeah. are incredible yeah. so yeah we're on the map like watch out the rest of the world <laughs> <laughs> here comes this eh? <laughs> <laughs> we're coming for you but yeah I've found my chain <laughs> it was long down the way but yeah to your point i feel like here we have like such big talent and like such big just for me like not knowing a lot about like djing and things like that like even i remember before you came here you posted that you were gonna dj on three cdjs or something like uh, that well, or like practice yeah. at, at least like uh. i remember hearing a quote like djs djing is as involved as you want it to be so like to you what what do you go from I'm I have an amazing set I got two CDJs in front of me <laughs> there's a third one over there <laughs> maybe I'll just fuck it up maybe I'll just see what the fuck's going on uh, I yeah. don't know depends on I guess it, it depends on how much experience you've had had like yeah I mean if you want vibes to be thick eh Mm. There's a saying you need to redline to headlines, so <laughs> Not the it doesn't line. exactly <laughs> answer the question. <laughs> but you know we're going with it because this is the Vibes podcast. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> oh, there's a, what a plug! <laughs> <laughs> you guys That's can sound like that. Hundred <laughs> percent. You need a red line to headline. God damn. It's a new saying. <laughs> you can't red guys, we, guys, we can't red line. <laughs> It's gonna Caitlin's going to shout in podcast, you got to check those levels, eh? <laughs> they want some distorting up in here. No, literally, when we, uh, we, we, we went to VAC yeah, last year. I went year. to VAC? No, last, last year? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see your face change? <laughs> face. I, don't, I don't know why. <laughs> like, yeah, I went Everyone's to going fine and telling me. That's the thing that confuses me. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, know, it's because I was going to tell the red lining story. <laughs> Okay, okay so, yeah, it's fine. so I don't want to talk about the red lines. No, don't. no, no. So, so you went to yeah, Matric Vac. Which one, Belito Plate? We were backstage. We were backstage I, most of the time. Like celebrities now get it. No, 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 no we, 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 <laughs> we we snuck our way. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh damn, the podcast got you backstage. It's like hope and, and dreams. You guys media passes. What you talking about? Get on that. Anyway, carry on. Sorry. No, nothing is a horrible story. Everyone <laughs> no, no, was, no, everyone no. was you redlining. Can't, you can't bring it up young. and don't finish the story. 
Go it, on, let's go. It's just that everyone was redlining, apparently, and one of our friends, she was, like, managing the stages. And, oh my God. like, to your point, you can't, you got a redline to headline. I feel like everyone there thought that they were a headliner because they're busy redlining. So she had to, like, go there and, like, literally put tape and be like, you can't fucking move this. So, yeah. Yo, crazy. What the, do, so the gain was just, like, all mm, the way up. Yeah. Oh, that hurts my soul. Oh, yeah. equipment is expensive, especially so expensive. at, like, I, the, the rigs there are huge. Mm, yeah. Oh, that uh, event manager must have been quite PO'd after that. I think we saw a few of them, and they, they always, they looked constantly angry for those three days that we were there. They looked so pissed Yo, off the entire time. crazy. <laughs> that poor sound engineer in the back, they're like, oh my God, I don't want to be here. I was like, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> those sound engineers always look stressed as yeah, fuck at the Yo. back there. They're never having a good time, ever. Yeah, I like that in Saunders they make them kind of like center though. It's like, look what's happening. Like these guys look are helping. Look at these yeah. poor souls. Yeah. Yeah, it's like these lights and sound guys are the reason that you are here now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, red line. That, the, that three CDJ thing that you brought up, does, I just want to clarify because my brain didn't comprehend. Yeah, I didn't answer the question at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. I just no, because I wanted to figure out: Are you playing three songs at the same time? Is that what that means? Yeah, basically. Yeah. So, so and so, drum and bass. How do you do that? <laughs> With great difficulty, my friend. <laughs> it's called lit. skill. Yeah, I was gonna say that's like pure experience. It has to be because like yeah. even getting two songs to play and drum and bass. <laughs> It's one seven four gravy. BPM. Sometimes one seven eight. If you're mad enough, yeah, Jesus these oaks do it. You must watch uh, again Repulse and Rain Man. It's like, like they don't even. It's not even a sweat to them. Mm. Double drop the two tunes. Double drop the other two tunes. Do that at the same time. You know, like crazy stuff. But you must watch like these guys in the UK or overseas, like Hedex and all of them. Mm, I saw uh, Hedex. I know Mike well. last mentioned them. Mm. Um, like they just switch, cut, 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 cut between like. Okay, what am I talking about? AMC, and DC. Those oaks are like mixing with six vinyl records. That's and insane. just absolutely smashing oh, it. Throw it up. Yeah, no, I, but I mean, Andy C is like 50 years old. So <laughs> he's I mean, he's fish, been yeah. doing yeah. it like literally from the 90s. This guy's been doing it. Mm. Mad respect. Hey. It still oh. seems like a fucking superpower. Like I was watching like your old videos on like, I think it's podcast 1210. Yeah. Yeah. And even watching you like mixing there, I'm like, I don't understand any, I don't understand. How does it even, I just said a church as well. Same thing. Like every time like you do like a switch, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I've been half the set, not even drilling. I was just like, I, I know that there's work being done. I just don't know. I don't know. That's the beauty of DJing, fam. Uh, <laughs> you don't know. I just, I feel like it's, it's, I don't know if it's like naivety. I just feel like it's so much more impressive the drum and bass. Like, cause even when we were, we were watching all that whole night i feel like every time you like you look at someone and that beat like fades from one to the other like i feel like we were just catching ourselves just going like that the whole time like it was just fucking crazy yeah well to put it into perspective like i played a a house like i played i had like i am um, oh, ah. <laughs> there's it <And> <laughs> you can keep that in if you want. <laughs> wow <laughs> Nah. <laughs> anyway, um, I played at Dust Capital, started doing this like dope little boutique sort of uh, jewel, um, like a kink, like positive jewel, super dope. And he was like, hey, do you want to play? I was like, oh, where? And he's like, can you open? So I was like, cool. So then I will play Tech House. <laughs> and I did it. <laughs> <laughs> the entire time, she's like, Ugh. I did it. <laughs> no, it was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck. I actually opened, okay, to be fair, I opened with Sesco, which is definitely not Tech House. It's more like, oh, it's so cool, Dubby, so dope. Anyway, <laughs> but to put in perspective, like that was Tech House. I think I had maybe 15, 20 songs. Drum and bass, I can go through 60 songs in one hour. Like, easy. Jesus easy Christ. peasy. Uh, it is a difference. Because, like, when you're on that floor, you all you're feeling is, like, break, break, yeah, break, just break. Bam, energy. In, yeah. in, in, in. Like, there's no rest, eh? That's no. why. I was yes. going to say, that's a difference. Like, with techno, it's like they do it in the big drop and they kind of, like, stand back. And they and like, stand look, back. Look what I know, just did. Have a cigarette. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> maybe <laughs> jaw in the crowd for a little bit. And be like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. The song's got to change. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off auto fade. Oh shit! Oh, no, no, I'm joking. Sure. I'm joking. <laughs> Jokes. I have respect for all different genres. <laughs> I promise. Oh, we love that. 
Oh, oh, that's actually a great segue. We wanted to play a game with you. Oh, God. Yeah. No, it's fine. We <laughs> right, promise. I think I'm we know scared. the answers at least. <laughs> yeah, we try to make it a little bit harder than, you know, just including because drum and bass isn't here. But we're going to play Fuck, Marry, Kill, oh Techno, my God. Trance, and Deep House. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, every okay, every okay, Twilight um, is coming back to you. <laughs> yes. No, Twilight is good, dude. There's others. <laughs> I love Twilight. Please book me again. Um, <laughs> shit, that is so hard. Can I kill all of them? Oh, <laughs> strong, maybe. Yeah. That's I'm going to get cancelled, guys. I'm going to get cancelled. Okay, joke, joke. okay I'll, I'll fuck Techno. Mm. What yeah. was the other one? Trance, Trance and Deep House. I'll marry Deep House because I've actually been enjoy- enjoying it, especially Cape Town flavors lately. Mm. Really excited. And then uh, trance. I'm really sorry all my trance friends. Like, but <laughs> you did. <laughs> R.I.P. in peace, fam. <laughs> oh, my days. Mm. I would have thought because, like, I feel like Twilight and Revolution and all those ones are, like, so close to... No? You'll never really see me on separate. the trance floor ever. Oh, really? It's just not my vibe. Mm. Not my vibe. I'm not going to elaborate any further. <laughs> <laughs> I love all I my think, trance friends. I think friends. we all, we all knew what it was going to be. Yeah, 100%. All music is valid. Like, all drum and bass is valid. All drum and bass is valid. <laughs> God damn. I've been turned. I don't even want to ask. Yes. <laughs> oh, How do you describe the scene in Cape Town versus Trobik? Yeah. Like, okay. for you going out, because... Yo. Yeah. Cape Town's had it rough. Uh, Joburg's definitely been the biggest scene. You guys have got more numbers. You guys have got... People with more money as well, like, mm. and also less things else to do. Because in Cape Town, yes. I don't mean to be this person, but like, there's the mountain, there's the beach, and people have yeah. always have better things to do yeah, than to come yeah. to your party, basically, um, unless you do a good party. Um, but yeah, like, I think there was a pivotal moment when we started doing the church parties in Cape Town. I think that was like quite a big thing because. You know, we're bringing internationals into... We need to talk about that as well. Yeah, no. mm. But we'll segue into that. Mm. <laughs> I'm doing a job. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are welcome. Jesus. Question Sorry, stops. Guys. International. She comes in here and she just starts taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> this is my podcast now. It's called Debbie Dabbles. It's called right. Debbie Dabbles. <laughs> You've thought about that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's my, uh, it's my, al- my other alias. Like, you know, if I'm going to do other genres, it's Debbie Dabbles. <laughs> <laughs> That was premeditated. And she dabbles, yeah. but I can't do that because the kids aren't doing that anymore. I can't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is erratic as fuck. What was the question? <laughs> Joe Berg, oh, Cape Town. Cape Town. Great times. <laughs> Crisis, guys. <laughs> fuck me. Okay. <clears throat> Reeling it in. We're editing that. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Um, so, uh, fuck. Yeah, Cape Town. We were struggling for a while. And then, yeah, things started changing. We started throwing parties, church parties. You know, there's other smaller parties that are popping up. And I, I think the pivotal moment in the drum and bass scene in Cape Town was when uh, Nuskawan did the open air jungle party. Mm. Um, and it was incredible. I think Mike was, he was also on the podcast. So I think he was in, he said he was involved with that. And I was like, oh my gosh, it makes so much sense. Mm. But yeah, it was just, it was just good vibes drum and bass enjoyed how it was supposed to be in the sun and it was such a fucking cool party and um yeah things are just looking up in cape town um joburg will always be the number one hub yeah. for drum and bass definitely in my eyes since it's been that way for seven years i think it was different before i came into the scene um but cape town's getting there like i think i think yeah, keep an eye on it. We're coming back. And I'm, f- I'm so happy, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't have to go to Joburg the whole time. Like, I love Joburg. What's she talking about? It's my second home. Mm. I'm not like one of those, like, you know, I'm not like the other Cape Townians. Man, I fucking love Joburg. Like, oh, that's beautiful. Man. The nicest people, welcoming, friendly, and you guys throw fucking gross parties. So, yeah. in the best way. <laughs> <laughs> Having such a great time. God, yeah. what do you think of four ways, man? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I got the best story for you about four ways. Oh, okay. I'm so excited. (laughs) Terrified. That's the best. Okay, so when I was growing up, okay, I have to reveal to you. Thank goodness. I've been been waiting for it. Oh, that's me. In Pumalanga. But I I went to St. City and Sister School, Penryn, shout out. Hey, Um, Sister Schools. um, So every holiday, I used to come up to Joburg because my sister moved here. 
and she lived across the way from Monte Cassino. And every weekend, well, not every weekend, but, you know, quite often she'd go to Billy, Billy the Bums. And I, <sighs> growing up, was like, oh, God, I just want to go to Billy the Bums. That's just all I want to do. I want to fucking it's party. I, it's where I need to be. It's where I need to be. <laughs> me. Finally, I'm like, I'm at the right place in my life. I'm ready to go to Billy the Bums. And it's fucking close. I was so bleak. Oh, hectic, so yeah. Bleak. So my friend was like, have you heard about LSB? No. No, oh, God. no but tell me more. Oh. Anyway, went there, had the best fucking time. Can I tell you? you really? I had you would. the <laughs> best time. <laughs> there were these like oaks walking past me like this. Hey, you know, and they bump into me like, ma'am, I'm so sorry. I'm like, call me ma'am again. I'm joking. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, but like I was just I was blown away, honestly. Like I'm not being facetious. Like I thought it was so dope. I had the best time and I got that off my out of my system now. Like I loved it. I love always. We love always. Yeah. yeah. Actually, man doesn't agree though. No, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Like I just feel like we go there too often. Or we, we did. Yeah. And I feel like yeah. it tainted There's, the experience. There is it. Yeah, and of course. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's one of those things where you go to the same place, they play the same song. Yeah. Every over, week. Yeah. Over. Like the first time you're at LSB, let's be honest, it's actually quite a banging set. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The 50th time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was there on the floor, like the whitest girl, like. <laughs> <laughs> TK, uh, I was very drunk. TK, 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 yeah, shout out TK, goddamn, with the problems. Oh, I love that guy. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to switch it up to 160 BPM. <laughs> so please don't do it again. <laughs> Scratch that 174. <laughs> let's go. The Can you imagine? Me. They just start dropping like I don't know Boonshin. I can't say his name properly. Or Manu at like LSB. The people wouldn't know what to do with themselves. I won't lie to you. I'd love it more. How great would that be, though? 100. percent And it's nice to then introduce someone as well into it. Because yeah. You never know how to. How we had the one question we had as well was how do you get someone into drum and bass? Like what? Well, what's that's your a good question because I was actually just thinking about that. And why do mm. I have to say that every single time? <laughs> but you're talking about rudimentals. Yeah, I mean the the people like the rudimentals. Um, who else is commercial? Net Sky, Netski, however you say it. Delta Heavy, who we had mm. just like the other day. All of these guys are making drum and bass. Cameron Crooked, sorry, Maddock. All of these people have been coming lately. These are the guys who make it accessible for other people to get into it. And then eventually, and, and uh, there's, a, there's this debate that's happening at the moment where David Greta is like dropping gray tunes at fucking ultra, like proper drum and bass, not just like the fluffy stuff, like proper fucking crazy drum and bass, TSO as well. And everybody's like all the drum and bass heads, you know, they're, they're kind of like a little bit upset about it because, we, you know, we tend to be quite protective of our mm. scene because we view it as an underground scene. Mm. But I love it because what you're doing is you're getting young people to start listening to it and then eventually they're going to filter into the underground sections of mm. drum and bass. Mm. So, yeah, Rudimentals, Net Sky, all of those guys. I love it. Please, we need more people in the scene. The more, yeah. the merrier. Let's fucking go. Yeah, that's amazing. Because I feel like as well, like being new to like going out and watching drum and bass, I feel like it's almost like scary because I don't know how people are protectionist over it. Because you're like, you love what's yours. And it's yeah. like, if you, like you say, you've been like in the industry DJing for seven years and you hold it very close to you. So you have those people who are protectionists who are like, we don't want people coming into our scene. We don't like... You could have easily been like, you guys are obviously fucking deep ass techno heads, like fuck off. No, uh, not at but all. But it's also like, it's more eyes on drum and bass, more like people who are interested in it and wanting yeah. to come see it. I mean, I love it. Like, I want people to experience drum and bass. There's something different mm. about a drum and bass party as well. Mm. Like, you will be safe as as a woman at a drum and bass party. Like, everyone's so nice. There's no there's no cuck going on. And if there is any cuck going on, you can literally like I'm specifically speaking about places like Sonage where shout out. Love you guys. Mm. Anyway, Sonage where you are safe. And if mm. anything happens, you can go to any of the organizers and they will sort that shit out one time. 100%. Like you are safe at a drum and bass party. And if you're not, then you can go to any of the girls. Any girls out there, if you feel unsafe at a drum and bass party and you know I'm there, you can come to me because that is the point of our scene. Like, we're there to enjoy the music. We're not there to, like, do other funny stuff. And if you are, I will find you and I will beat you. Brrr, bow. Gun <laughs> fingers. Brrr. <laughs> but I won't beat you. I'm small. <laughs> Everyone, no, 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 no. So nice. Yeah, even last year, I mean, not a 
February. I keep thinking it was last year, but when Winter we Dolls are heavier, it was our first big like oh, drum and really? bass event. And then we had been in festival as well the day like that entire day. So my nose started bleeding, I think, from the sun and everything. So I went to the bathroom and everyone's immediate reaction was like, Hey man, what are you on? Let's get you sorted. <laughs> yeah, like, let's everyone was in the bathroom, like, let's get you ready. Yeah. I'm like, no, don't stress, my nose is still bleeding. It's like it's okay, man. Just <laughs> not, you know, I, I promise. You don't have to lie to us. You don't have to lie to us. Drugs are bad. Yeah. I keep on like addressing things. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be so many zoom ins, though. <laughs> <laughs> so many PSAs. <laughs> Auntie Debbie's on the case. Uh, That's yeah. where we could make a whole soundboard just from your, all your sounds. Hell sayings. yeah, mm. I would. Yeah, that would. I would die. That's the goal is to the one day get a soundboard. Yeah, you guys need to... I, I, I don't know if this is like a cardinal sin, but like H3 Podcast is my favorite podcast. They've got like the soundboard system going on and it just it adds so much to the podcast. It's so fucking great. I, I mm. promise you if we get a soundboard, one of these sounds that you've made <laughs> during we'll this 30 honest. minutes. 100%. But, but. Even though David hates soundboards. But that's what no, I no, I, I, I just think we I wanted overuse one from it. the start. You'd overuse it. We all <laughs> overuse it, but you know. Definitely overuse it. It's never overused. <laughs> it's going to be so good. <laughs> but yeah, going back to like, drum and bass being like something where people just go for the music i feel like it's been really cool to watch church like booking like such big fucking internationals like literally you have like renee levis coming over now levis thank you so much <laughs> i got you Bleep it up. <laughs> <laughs> <Renee Levice. laughs> uh, how's that been like as a just yo yeah it's been surreal uh i guess i should start from the beginning let me have some water this is a story oh there's it <laughs> <laughs> take it easy <laughs> so yeah how did you initially like get involved with church so yeah last year i got a call from francois so i've i have a working relationship with the boys from church um mm. but from like an editing perspective like ryan and rainer who so ryan is the number gu- numbers guy and rainer is rain man mm-hmm. and francois is repulse Soyce. and he's Soyce, yeah he's the one who owns him and his brother own sonage so um yeah, I have a working relationship with those guys because I do animation. That's like my main job. And I'm their main, or I was their main animation supplier. So I already had a relationship with them, like mm. working wise. Mm. And yeah, last year they called me, uh, Francois, and he was like, hey, you know, we're bringing down Eni. Started screaming. <laughs> uh, that was a lot for me to mm. handle. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, that's amazing. And then he was like, how would you like to help us run it in Cape Town? And I'm like, <laughs> you joking. <laughs> and he was like, no, seriously. I was like, fuck. And he doesn't know this, but like, or maybe I have told him. I don't know. I'm an open book. But uh, I literally started like crying because it was, it was a Aww. really fucking big thing for me. Like, yeah, yeah like, uh, especially with church. Like church is just such a fucking huge part of the drum and bass scene. So, yeah, when they asked me, I was, like, absolutely humble. I couldn't believe it. And, obviously, I said yes. So, yeah, we went from there. We threw uh, Eni, the Eni Jewel, in a very small little um, brewery restaurant around the corner from my house. And no. then, luckily, we got uh, Colorbox, which is a great venue. Um, and we've been running, it, running the parties there ever since. So, yeah, it's been a year now, exactly, that I've been a part of church. And it's oh. been... Yeah, it's literally like my anniversary trip at the moment, which is so cool. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so fuck, I'm so grateful for those guys because they like literally just like reinvigorated my passion for drum and bass. And, you know, I I studied sound engineering when I was at Varsity and and to be able to like work on like rigging stages with these fucking nails, right? Oh, God damn. Rigging stages, like setting shit up, hanging stuff. I haven't really gone into the technical side yet, but hopefully going to start doing the lights and stuff because that incorporates my two loves, drum and bass and Mm. animation and stuff. Mm. Um, But yeah, it's just been every single um, one that we do in Cape Town. It's just I learn a a new invaluable skill. And also I get to spend two days driving around with my fucking idols, Mm. guys. It's been insane. I can imagine (laughs) being starstruck as well. Like, you know, it was rough for me. Mm. in the best way because he <laughs> oh god he was he's just oh, amazing <laughs> <laughs> yeah fuck and then yeah and then we had tantrum desire and then we had delta heavy and now we have renee levice and 
I get to, I just insist and I take them to the, see the penguins every time. I'm like, you have to see the fucking penguins. Mm, I'm, right, yeah. I'm very aggressive about it. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just been amazing. Like I've got the easiest job, definitely driving around the internationals, entertaining them. But mm. I must say I am very entertaining, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> Welcome oh back God. to Debbie Devil. <laughs> it's the most entertaining <laughs> fuck girl. Welcome to Debbie Devils. <laughs> I'm your tour it. host. <laughs> Mm, We're going to go see the penguins now. <laughs> Dylan, grab the we cameras. We will see the penguins. <laughs> <laughs> and then a quick climb up Table Mountain. Just well, <laughs> absolutely not. Ben uh, Delta Heavy wanted to do that. And like, I had a very traumatic incident on Table Mountain. So I was like, absolutely not. Oh, so Neil, the other owner of Sonage, took uh, Ben up uh, Lion's Head. It was lovely. Mm. You got a mm. good, good like photo op. No, no, no. For me, we go up the cable car. I'm not climbing. hundred percent. Thank I've you. I've only for heard this. of people crying when climbing up to a mountain. Like yeah, if they do that, yeah. especially if you almost die. Long story yeah. short, I almost died on the mountain. Stupid. But we don't have to get into that. And this is why we're not going to climb the mountain when we go. But no, can, wait, can I ask one question? Yeah. Which route? Which route? Uh, Castile's Port. Okay, but at the not. worst weather conditions oh, really? terrible, terrible Okay, we, w- we won't ask anymore No, but you guys but we have, have to, to <laughs> Climb up Lion's Head oh, right. Yes, you can see I, oh, right. It's can a I, vibe We When we, we went to VAC in 2015 Our actual <laughs> Actual You guys but, were in matric in 2015? Yes, I was a tiger. I was a tiger. Yeah, I was not scared of an age. Can I just say something? You look so young. Like, yeah, 100%. I don't, you look 26. Oh God, you're, you're this amazing. is the first time you've confirmed <laughs> from that reaction that you're older than us, and I just still don't believe yeah. it at all. Thanks. <laughs> we're we're going to cut yeah. that out. <laughs> but yeah, 2015, you yeah, carry on. We went, and I think this is the thing that Cape Tonians do. Mm-hmm. Is, they don't tell Joe Burgers what Lion's Head actually is. Yeah, they it. say it's a very relaxed, like, he'll, so we were staying with his brother. He saw me walk with flops. I said, I'm not going to bring any water. He saw me walk out with flops. And he said, <laughs> not going to say a damn thing. <gasps> I nearly died as well. I went and I slipped and my friend Greg just like grabbed me. And I was like, Greg, I don't think you know that <laughs> you just saved my life. <laughs> that, you know, when we go... That's not a vibe. That's the yeah. that that is is not a vibe. That's a thing to be like, we're going to trick the Joe Burgers. Yeah, I've been living there for 10 years and I still haven't climbed that thing. Oh. No, absolutely not. <laughs> the no. chains. Mm. The fucking chains. These nails, absolutely not. Sorry. Um, no, that's not cool, dude. You need to be prepared, please, guys. No. Water, good shoes, or you will die. People Super die on that crazy. mountain, dude. It's not, it's not a joke. Mm, anyway, yeah. Mommy Debbie coming up again. Yeah. Doing her thing. I mean, Mommy Dakota. I can't tell people my name. <laughs> Guys, it's the brand Guys. Brand. <laughs> brand Brand, brand, brand Speaking of brands Here at Vav's Podcast We have a segment called Vav Chicks <laughs> Woohoo I'm excited for this <laughs> So beautiful <laughs> David, do you want to explain to the people What a Vav Chick is? Of course A Vav Chick is essentially Where we give someone a topic Usually it's Lebs giving them to me But this week it's going to be to Dakota We're going to give her a vibe check And then she's going to state her opinion Whether it's good vibes, bad vibes Mid vibes or just the absolute worst. Okay. Yeah. And then you can elaborate or you can just outright say no. And that's the thing that gets people going is when you just refuse to explain okay. yourself. That's what they love is when you say no. One word, vibe checks. Yeah. We should do that one day. Yeah. But the first vibe check is from us here at Vibes and then we'll get into the video of vibe checks. Uh, but it's vibe check on open air drum and bass. I know you touched on it earlier. Absolute fucking vibe, especially in Cape Town. It sounds like witchcraft. You guys need to come down to the next one. Like witchcraft. We will. Please do another one. Yeah. Mm. Vibe. Absolute fucking vibe. Mm. Ask any of the Joe Burgers who came down. They literally like paid money, flew down. Vibe. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah, a good Yeah, it feels, for, for me, it feels like it's like, I don't know. It, it doesn't make sense. You know when like you have like your tea and your coffee set like a certain place. Like this is where the tea goes, this is where the coffee goes. And then they switch and you're like, that doesn't seem right. Like that's what open air drum and bass sounds like For to real? me. Yeah, it just seems like it shouldn't be. Like it just should. Like it just, I don't know why. I think it's also because you are experiencing the club drum and bass mostly. Oh, okay. Like the rave drum and bass. But the music that we played at open air was mostly ju- um, jungle and liquid. So mm. sun was up, the wind was like slightly pumping, but we were all on like, you know, beach sand and liquid vibes, super chilled, just good, good vibes. Mm. Vibe. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's to go back to that. <laughs> to go back to Absolutely the vibes. Vibe. Good vibes. <laughs> Absolutely vibe. vibe. 
Getting into our VO vibe checks. Now, this VO vibe check comes from Thurin, and it's not re racking your weights at the gym. Are you a gym girl? <laughs> Are you a Cape Town gym buddy? There's a lot of matter ones here, which are, I'm picking the PC ones. <laughs> No, I have no idea. You're not, not <laughs> a gym girl. I'm like, I still don't know about that either. <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to answer that question. Uh, I'm, yeah, are you, you in activities? Because I feel like being from Cape Town, are you like a very activities person or like I a. I mean, a like, yeah, I used to be. I actually used to be a Muay Thai fighter. That's. Yeah, badass. we don't use you don't, don't you have to don't rack weights there. you rack no, yeah, weights yeah. there. You use your own weight, and that's you, all cardio. You don't rack uh, weights. You rack oaks. Yeah, place. rack oaks. Yeah, he was he's an elbows. Eh? You must see. Oh, you're from <laughs> Poise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I have no idea. Hundred percent glad. Yeah. Anyway, oh, hopefully this one you also don't have an idea about, <laughs> unless you you know feel inclined. This one comes from Joey Gordon. Being a rebound. Jeez, I've been in a relationship for seven years, guys. I don't fucking know. <laughs> don't fucking remember. I don't know if I've ever been a rebound. Fuck, I don't know. Um, vibe, if you're into it, you know. Like, mm. honestly, if you're like, cool. If the person's up front with you, yeah, hell yeah, do it. Get yours. Go get it, girl. Mm. Yeah, vibe. At least if the person's unless you're, up front. Unless you, like, I think the emoji you know, that she unless you lie there, about I mean, it. she was not up for that, though. Yeah, the emoji does look like she might have been... <laughs> I don't think she was, was she up for it. No, it doesn't, oh, that doesn't no, seem like I'm so high. sorry, girl. Leave him. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him. It's not worth it. Oh, God. Davey, how do you feel about being a rebound? Uh, not now, not in the context, oh, just in gee. life. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What is <laughs> Maybe right now, you're literally. Oh, are you yeah, I mean, called out? No, if you know, if you know, then it's fine. Uh, mm. uh, it depends on how you're feeling, though. Like, if you may. Yes, it's a vibe. I, I'm, I'm down for it. I would probably be heartbroken by the end of it, but that's fine. Oh. <laughs> I do this to myself though, I've realised You let me know who she is <laughs> Thank you Christ. Thank you You point her out on Saturday and I will get her and I will tell her very uh, nicely uh, To uh, stop being ugly no, Okay, I'll no, no, I'm not violent <laughs> Only in the ring <laughs> Not anymore anyway. <laughs> She's not scared of a cage <laughs> Oh god So good vibes all around Good vibes yeah. the room, bro, man. If, it's if you know and if it's cool And you're mm. fine with it, then vibes, yeah Definitely. Love to see it. This one, more related to the jaw scene, comes from Parveen Bradley. Vibe check on guys who take their shirt off at the jaw. I think it's a vibe. Mm. Look, you work hard to get your body the way it is. Also, if you don't, I don't care. Like, love the body that you're in. Who the fuck cares? And if you're hot, hot, take it's your so shirt hot. off. It's about, like, especially a drum and bass. Okay, I'm again, I'm probably, like, I know some people don't like this, but for me... It's a rave. It's a part of the rave scene. Mm. Love it. I think it's a vibe. Do it, boys. I could do it. I would do it if I could, but we're not in Europe. <laughs> we're not in Berlin. Yeah, I'm not in Berlin. <laughs> Acid taker, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> she threw up in her mouth when she said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I like Acid Tech, no, It's pretty cool. Oh, all music's valid. All music is valid. <laughs> <laughs> David, taking your shirt off a grief. I've never done it, but I understand. You it. could. You should. I'm not. Do it. You should just experience it once. Yeah. Yeah, you're young. Just take your shirt off. Who cares? You're hiding from Do it now. No. What? Do it now. Tell it. That's the only thing. For me, I, d I understand like the heat sense. Like that must be a nice release. But it's like, I, I've seen the clockwork because we've got like three friends and it's clockwork, you know? <laughs> oh like God. as soon as that sun just hits past, <gasps> I get a festival, it's like it's coming off. And then like you turn around for a second and both of them, it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let them live their lives, man. Yeah. Let them live their lives. Yeah, 100%. I only ever I, do it when it's like major. That is that's the first like techno it's event. Like, yeah. Well, well, you didn't take your shirt off. You just like straight. No, you I took it off for church. <laughs> I just realized. No, you're in a vest. I always say this. I'm oh sorry. no, 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 no! I was no. You say I'm in a vest. I was shirtless. You just my head was wrapped. Around, my shirt was so wrapped. I was around my right. Head. No, you said I was in a vest. I was like, I didn't wear a vest. Uh, <laughs> wait. So you were shirtless. In At Feb. In Feb. In Feb. Yeah. Oh, in Feb. Yeah, but yeah, there were so many people there. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. You could never even tell. That makes sense. Looking like I saw someone in like, like a like speedo. That. It was like an America speedo looking thing. Probably. Yeah. It's yes, it gets what a good vibe, eh? Fuck <laughs> sex is such Absolute a joke. Oh my days. Um, I'm so excited for yeah. it. 
Bobchick on Ray outfits. That's from. Oh my god, absolute fucking vibe. Uh. Everything's a vibe to me. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no bad vibes. There's no bad vibes. Don't ask Yo, me about music no, like, Especially the girls. Girls, you got this body for like a very short amount of time in the grand scheme of things. Wear the things, girl. Like mm. have like have the cute little rave outfits on. I'm all for it. Like absolutely love mm. it. I'm one of those girls. Do it, girl. Mm. Love it. And boys, if you that way, if you want to do that, <laughs> go for it. What's your favorite outfit, like in your mind, like your oh best ever rave outfit? My favorite like? rave outfit. I just got a outfit made by just Jim Miller. I'm probably saying her name wrong again. Fuck. Let me just double check that. No worries. <laughs> I'm so sorry, girl. She's amazing, and I keep on saying her name wrong. But she just made me the cutest little outfit, and it's like a little bikini thing with like it's gold and black, obviously, because that's my color palette. Mm. And yeah, I love it. Fuck, I wore it to White Rabbit, and yeah, it was a vibe. Oh, yeah, anyway, beautiful. you can cut that out if you want. What? I such a good. I was going to segue it into Lebs' favorite outfit where he looked like Morpheus what? from what is, Matrix. What is your favorite outfit, Lebs? Mine, shut up. I don't, I don't <laughs> Tell really. Tell me, girl. I don't really go like super like big for fezzies. But that fit right nah. now is oh, like mine. My days lost me, please. I'm in basic Air Force Ones, imagine. <laughs> Cute. Thanks. Thank you. I mm, live it. your life. Thanks. You guys don't gas me nearly this much. Eh? Yeah, you I, should gas I'm, your friends. You <laughs> should have seen him. So we went we went to a techno event at Sonage as well. And then he was literally in the like he looked like Morpheus. Like he had a he had a trench coat on, a black trench coat. Oh, I thought it was, and then glasses yeah. and a beanie. Was it a beanie or a hat? Oh, it was, it like, was a kini. Kini hat, yeah. yeah. It's a uh, and he looked solid. Oh Thank my god, you. that is amazing. That. I need photos. He looked like he spoke Please. German. <laughs> I <Amazing. did. laughs> there's this there's this photo that we took because someone drove their Ferrari it. there. Oh uh, fuck! I pray you find it. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go yeah. 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 find all of them. Love oh it. god! I need to see this. Yeah, it's Davy and I posted up in front of a Ferrari, <laughs> and then <laughs> what were we? It was Morpheus and Neil. <laughs> because David was just there like this, looking like the biggest like tracksuit gym bro ever. Oh, I, I love like, it. I love well, this. you need to have a slub at every party, you know? Did he do the <sighs> slub? Did he do the... I did. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was fully squatted. Had to. Had to. You should see how he dresses now. I thought you were talking about someone else because you said Neil. I didn't realize you were talking about Dave the whole time. <laughs> oh, I know, because Morpheus and Neo. Oh, so, Neo. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm like, he must have had the... <laughs> <laughs> Neo must have had a great chair. <laughs> You're like, what's Dave's other name? <laughs> Neil. <laughs> I memorized all your names before I came here. <laughs> it's very difficult. Oh. Lebs. <laughs> Devs and Lebs. Devs and Lebs. When I met you in Cape Town, I was literally like, when you introduced yourself. When did you meet me, meet me in Cape Town? Oh, fuck's sakes. What? Oh, fuck's sakes. I said I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Have we met before? Oh, it, was in, it was outside Modular. We were inside that middle stage. And then it was oh. after you had literally just fucking shelled out the whole floor. It was the most magical experience. So my wallet got stolen, yeah, that night. Oh, and God, I'm there on know. the floor. I don't know if you saw me. My torch was out. I was just walking, <laughs> trying to move people around in Manchula, <laughs> trying to look for my wallet. Couldn't I find it. I remember that. And then <laughs> came and said to me. And I was I like, did. what? It was beautiful. Vibes, also, because but. I was like, oh, that part of modular, like, you, that is, he's hectic there. Um, <laughs> again, I get a little bit scared. So I was sitting there waiting for my Uber to come and waiting for my mates because they wanted Lips. to go check out that side. And there's this oak, like, <laughs> with the sort of, hey, 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 you. What a great I love sex. this. How's it girl? Yes, my wallet. I'm so sorry. No, no, my wallet. I lost it anyway. Fuck, that's so crazy. Oh, thank you all. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Nice to re-meet you. Oh, that was, was like a month ago. Yeah, yeah literally. Crazy. Yeah, that I was loved. Mad. That was so much fun. But anyway, I was supposed to say thank you. I tried to say thank you then, but then I was too starstruck. But I was gonna say thank you because. I was depressed about my wallet and then I was listening to your set and then you played the all gun German <laughs> and I've been jamming it in my uh, car. Oh man. my God. <laughs> I've been jamming it in my car for like the longest amount of time and then when I heard it, I was like, nothing can go wrong actually. Yes, that's such a good one. Oh, TI a remix is just ooh, so bad. Mm, that's beautiful. Vibes. Nice to re-meet you, oh, man. I love to re-meet oh. you as well. So I beautiful. will say, I was not okay when you saw me. <laughs> Look, yeah. my set was done. I was going to have a good time. So by the time you saw me, like when we spoke, oh, girl, yeah, yeah, there was, uh, was a lot of, I had a lot of skinny bitches <laughs> at that point. 
<laughs> we love Kate. And you're sober, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, my drink. gosh. Yeah. That is even more embarrassing. Well, at least you didn't notice until I brought it up. Anyway, let's see that photo. <laughs> 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 Don't laugh that quickly. <laughs> she, she got caught off guard. I thought she said it was a leather jacket, but it's cute though. Oh, this is black. <laughs> you look like I've. I'm ashamed to admit this, but there was that. Like, what's it called? Too hot to handle. I watched one season, and there was a Strong. Scottish guy, and you look like the Scottish guy. Oh no! This is about Liv. <laughs> no, he's cute. He's cute. Lips. Um. <laughs> All rave outfits are bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? I take, I revert my previous statement. No, I what were you thinking? I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. Vest <laughs> underneath, I took a little filthy, grooving vest. I'm, so oh my I'm God. never dressing up for anything again. I actually. <laughs> You know what you need to do? Yeah. Oh my god, I sound like such an asshole. But you know what you need to do? Just take one picture in the selfie and let my, uh, Auntie Auntie Debbie know, and I'll give you some advice. Okay. Okay, so thank hey, you so out. much. Don't go out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is cute. I love this. This is a vibe. Absolute vibe. Uh, so burn much. this trench coat. Oh, oh, it's not even mine. I don't think well. I'm so oh, sorry. That's all the time we have for today. <laughs> <laughs> so can you see I'll, I'll, we can, I'll send you the picture. You can yeah, you guys need to put that over here. Over here. <laughs> There's no reason. Can you see this outfit? What was he thinking? <laughs> I'm so sick. I'm so sorry. Yo, that's so I'm gonna get cancelled. I'm gonna get all your fangirls, and they're gonna be like, "Don't you be mean to Liz." <laughs> no, they all look fantastic. as Morpheus. <laughs> the only fangirl for David over here. That's why. Uh, absolute lies. You guys are all yes. got fangirls. Oh, uh, maybe those fangirls even in this house right now. Damn, eh? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite on the podcast, though. <laughs> Oh, I, okay. I have a serious question. Yes. Oh, geez. Like, Oof. Yeah. Everybody's serious now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just shut up, mm. please. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, but uh, I went to, because it was along the vibe check thing and you spoke up a little bit about it. Hmm. Um, opening versus closing. Hmm. Yo, I've got thoughts. Yeah. I'm yeah. interested because we've never, I've never actually heard this from a DJ. And when you said it, I was like, well, there must be a difference, right? Oh, there's a massive difference. Yeah. Like uh, for me, the opening DJ is the most important part of a party because they are the people that set the tone set the vibe. Mm. Um, they are the ones that get people onto the dance floor. Uh, it's an art. It's the most difficult in my opinion. No, actually closing is more difficult. But anyway, I'll get to closing. Um, yeah, I, I have a lot of respect for people who have do open. I mean, before I got given anything other than opening, I opened and it came from the jungle for like four years before I got given any opportunity to play later. Um, mm. So... Yeah, um, but closing for me is so fucking difficult because I don't actually play like super hard music. That's not really my style. Um, I like the more like vibey, bouncy, high energy jungle. Mm. I love jungle. I could have closed the jungle, but it's a really difficult thing because you have to, uh, Francois Soyes put it so well the other day where he said, um, you have to play hard enough to keep the people there, but don't play too hard to scare the people away. So it's like oh, super difficult. Hectic, Those yeah. are for me the most difficult set times, the most difficult slots, and I have a lot of respect for people who do that. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm 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 opening at Rene Levice. Like, I was like, yeah, let's go liquid. I'm down. Oh, Love that's gonna opening. be fucking beautiful. It's a I just think it's a bit different as well for drum and bass because it's like with techno, they can kind of shift in between in and yeah. out. But it's like with drum and bass, you kind of like you said, set the pace there. It's like, it's going to be liquid, then it's going to go harder, harder, harder. Yeah, and exactly. Like relative yeah. to your closing, well, just before closing, I think it's like your hardest set. And that's yeah, definitely, definitely. Do you, do you ever have like a set that you've planned and then like something's going, I'm going to say wrong, but like you, the crowd's maybe not feeling something and you're like, fuck it, I'm going to shove in this song. Yeah, like, does that course. ever happen? You have to do that. Like you can't, you can't. So a lot of the new people, and it's what I did in the beginning of my career, when you're still busy learning about DJing and stuff, a lot of people plan their sets tune for tune, which is great. But if you go there, like you said, and people are not enjoying it, what the fuck do you do? Like you've mm. planned a liquid set and the people want rollers or something more bouncy. What the fuck are you going to do? So you have to be versatile. You have to be able to be like, cool, this is not working. I'm going to jump to this playlist. 
so essentially to like go back i think people have sort of forgotten that like djs are there not to play music that you want to hear you're playing music that the crowd wants to draw to mm. and it's but it's it's a, a healthy balance of the two so um my brain just went blank okay. anyway yeah uh, so for me what i do is i've got like a bunch of playlists I take like on average like two thousand songs with me to every single party. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh no my please joke. share your playlist. The one, the one for church, this past church. Yeah, I think I had a thousand five hundred songs on me, so that I could switch it up if I need to. Because you know, at the end of the day, like I said, the crowd might not necessarily like what you're playing. You need to change it up. Um, so yeah, but also for the people who are starting out, it's okay in the beginning to plan your stuff because you know like if you're going to be doing an opening slot you're going to play liquid maybe get a little bit vibey towards the end um but please also as a new dj just make sure that you've got more than 50 songs on you because you will inevitably run out of music and then what the mm. next dj needs to start 10 minutes earlier so just make plan for the worst and yeah have you ever had a situation like that like what's your biggest <laughs> like i, I want to say like fuck up moment where you were like oh my god this is like a lesson learned oh my god uh, there's so many fuck i've had a long long <laughs> um i think one of the worst ones because i'm a very like organized person um i'm a virgo <laughs> um <laughs> it doesn't mean fuck all to you guys are you a virgo um, what date Ooh, do you want to guess do you want to make it 16 of september yeah I'm not a I'm I'm not a September Virgo. Oh, you're an August Virgo, yeah, close I'm to Leo. Sure. Mm. Oh, see, uh, why is that? <laughs> everyone does that? <laughs> I'm nice. <laughs> you nice for me? I'm joking. Twenty fifth. I'm like just on the cusp. Doesn't Basically, count. Yeah. still doesn't rate you. Much. All, Le <laughs> all Leos are very valid. <laughs> 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 Uh, what are we talking about again? <laughs> um, oh, organized. organized. <laughs> yes. Uh, fucking up. Yeah. Um, the one, the, I think the worst, one of the worst things I did was I was playing back to back with one of my mates, Chris Sublime. Shout out, homie. Um, and I accidentally got into the wrong Uber because two Ubers arrived at the same time. And this guy started driving out of town. I'm like, where the fuck are you going? And he's like, oh, but look at this. And I'm like, I didn't swear at the guy. Oh my gosh, I would yeah. never do that. But I was like, where are you going? It's like, oh no. And I'm like, no, 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 that's not where I'm going. That's not where I'm going. And I arrive five minutes late. And then as I get onto the stage, I press the fucking cue button and stop all of the music. Oh. And like, yeah, Chris was so gracious. He was just like, don't worry, homie. Don't worry, homie. Carried on playing, smashed the set. Obviously, yeah. like, you fuck up so beginning, in, right in the beginning. And for the next hour and a half, you're like, oh my God. Mm, and for the whole night, the whole night, this guy kept on coming up to me. Oh, my God. And I actually had an in-house fight that day as well. So in my defense, my brain was a little scrambled. Okay? Mm. My face was fucked. <laughs> like, I'm going to show you the picture. It's so awesome. Oh, anyway, I just also come back from a fight. So like I had an adrenaline dump and I was just like tired and whatever. And like I was like, cool, I'm just going to draw now. Whatever. It's over. And this guy kept on coming up to me being like, yeah, you know, you making mistakes like that, it, it just shows you that you're human. I'm like, what the fuck else does it make me? Really? Yeah, like if fuck? I played a good set and I didn't fuck up, what, what would they make me? I'm still Maybe. fucking human. What are you talking about? And he kept on coming up to me. Just showed me that you're a human. I'm like, go away. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, shout out to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a yeah, I will never make that fucking mistake again. You see me, I'm an hour, two hours before the time I'm there. I will never be late for a set again. Ever, 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 ever. At the end of the day, guys, all you youngsters out there, DJing isn't isn't for funsies or whatever. It's a career. Like, mm. like people take this shit seriously. Mm. You should take it seriously. You need to be professional. Mm. Be there on time. Be prepared. You're getting paid for a service. Don't get, like, absolutely smashed or... Oh, do if you play better then go for it but i wouldn't recommend it if you don't know how to do that i'm not one of those people i can't do that so. mm. but yeah just be professional it's your job 100%. anyway ted talk over deb talk over <laughs> uh, she's planned she's all planned of this we need to start her podcast for her. <laughs> i should start a podcast <laughs> you really should <laughs> Guys, i'm so sorry your fans so are long. gonna make that happen now <laughs> yeah 100 percent. debbie dabbles here it goes
<laughs> yeah, I feel like just like on the converse of that, what has been like the biggest moment of your career? What's been like your biggest shit. achievement? What's been the moment that's fulfilled you the most? Oh, shit, definitely. Absolutely, without a doubt, when the church boys got me on board. Mm. Absolutely. It changed everything for me. Like I said, it just like, it's, um, fuck. Yeah, it's been amazing. It's, been it's just day. to be recognized by people, f- like by them. Like they are oh, crazy. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, you guys are my homies. Oh, that's so <laughs> but yeah, that was definitely like my biggest moment. And I think the other day w- after I played open air, I had a pretty prolific like bass music producer. I'm not going to say who because I don't want to call him out. But mm-hmm. he, he was like a huge deal in the SA scene and yeah, he came up to me and he was like, you're an incredible performer. And I was just like, stop. That was like, yeah, I was like, (laughs) stop. (laughs) (laughs) But carry on though. (laughs) Let me me record this quickly. (laughs) (laughs) Can you repeat that? (laughs) Every time I'm feeling down, you're incredible. (laughs) (laughs) I am an incredible. (laughs) I'm great. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, those are probably yeah, two of my highlights. Oh god, there are there there's so many. I fuck. I, especially in the last year, it's just been it's just been amazing. Um yeah, oh and then another another one, fuck. Uh was uh, last year exactly a year ago. I was playing at church for the second time. I played years ago at church, but this was the one where they were still sussing out to see if I was a part of the vibe. Mm. And um yeah, I was busy playing, and at the end of my set, Soy sent me a message on, on WhatsApp, and he was like, um, you're one of us, or something like that. He said something like, y- you can stay. And I was just like, again, came up with a tequila on stage, and I was just like, I don't know, just amazing. That's so, so beautiful, man. Yeah, they, they really are. They're just like wholesome, great people, and they are doing amazing things in the drum and bass mm. scene, and just, yeah, I'm super grateful for them. 100%. Anyway. And we're super grateful for you. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so grateful. Stop! Uh. You're making me double chin. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, yeah. Good times, yeah. eh? What? So good what's times. what's next for you? Out of interest, like where where's where's your what's where's your next thing? Um, where can they find you? Um. So I am trying very hard to get it like actually start releasing music um mm. it's yeah it's been a struggle um <laughs> but it's something that i'm like seriously working on i would love to eventually start incorporating my animation into my performances which i mean i think i don't know if you guys were there last year but um for Eni, they played my artwork while i played but i want to be able to actually play it while i play like you can actually like link up midi keyboards to like lighting panels and stuff oh that'd be so awesome yeah, so you take so control do, yeah like literally do my own visuals while i play that's something i'd really love to do uh, it's a bit more d- technical and difficult than i'd hope but something i'm really like hoping for and just really like um working with bringing down uh, internationals with church and taking that super seriously and yeah just really investing in the scene which mm. Yeah, that's my future. That's awesome. Overseas so one day, beautiful. hopefully. Yeah. Fuck, that would be great. Oh, we'll come find you wherever one you go. One step at a time. <laughs> one step at a time. Let's talk again in a year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd absolutely love that. Thank you so much for pulling through. Oh, and thank you. Bringing absolute fucking amazing <laughs> vibes. I feel like none of us knew like how it was going to go. I feel like we were all low-key nervous, but I fucking had an amazing time. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been absolutely beautiful, man. Yeah. Um, so first thing is Sanctuary this weekend in Mulville, Smoky mm-hmm. Kills. That's going to be absolute proper party. Uh, lineup is sick. I'm so excited to be a part of that. So that's happening this weekend. And then obviously Renee Levice, uh, which is happening in the beginning of May. Get your tickets ASAP, Fifth guys. ASAP like, Rocky. They baby. are selling out. Um, and that's going to be an absolute proper party. You guys would know. You've been to them. And we're going to be and there as well. Yeah. Facts. Please, please do come. Yeah. Have to. And yeah, I uh, got did all my socials and you'll, yeah, that's, that's about it. There we oh. go. Should I shout out my boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, hey, shout out boyfriend. <laughs> Literally not mention anything. Else. Love you, babes. <laughs> <laughs> the literal like end point is this way like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. But yeah, for you guys who are 
looking to find Debs, you can find or Dakota. You can find her at Dakota DNV on the IG and the Facebook. Deco- Dakota underscore DNV. Underscore DNV. Someone fucking took it without the underscore. What did they? Somebody did, yeah. The get bitch. like porn accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Dead ass. Dead ass. Yeah. Like, how That's desperate are you? Yeah, I've got like 2,000 followers. <laughs> like, calm yourself. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> anyway, <No>. sorry. <laughs> As you were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like we just want to say a huge thank you for you coming down and thank spending you. time with the Vibes boys. It's thank you for having me, guys. It's been absolute fucking... It's been amazing. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Guys, as always, if you want to check us out, make sure you go on to our IG, at Vols Podcast. We're on the YouTube, the Spotify, the Apple Music, wherever you can find a podcast, we're there. Once again, for Davey, Delicious D, Dylan Diablo Dooley, and myself, Captain Lives. We've been Vols Podcast, telling you to always keep vibing. Keep vibing. Keep vibing. <laughs> 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 That's so beautiful. That was so good. <laughs> 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 oh.